Good day everyone, I'm Charlie Stepene Campad. Today's topic is Philippine art. I will go through the history of Philippine art and at the end of my podcast, I will be talking about my own insights and reflection on the course. Let's start off with the arts during the pre-colonial period. This period is where the indigenous people express their arts on rocks. They would usually express their religion and daily activities such as fishing and farming. They would also put some decorative patterns on wall rocks and wood. Stone had a huge part in art during this period. Other than painting and drawing, they also made art using stone to make weapons, jewelry, and other decorative crafts out of stone. The indigenous people also had their own alphabet called by Bayin. It's 1521 and the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan has stepped foot in the Philippines. We are now entering the Spanish colonial art period. When Spain colonized the Philippines on 1521 to 1898, they introduced the people to formal paintings, sculptures, and architecture which was influenced with Byzantine, Gothic, Baroque, and Rococo art style. A lot of the art that was made during this period were religious, specifically Catholic based. It was also during this period that one of the oldest dances we know today, Tinikling, was introduced. After years of being colonized by Spain, the Americans took over. Education became more accessible when the Americans came and colonized the Philippines. The architecture, art design were modernized and cities went through major developments. Literature was highly influenced by the Americans, especially because of education. During this period, the themes in painting were landscapes, still life, and portraits of officials with high ranks. Imagine Manila in ruins in a very dark period. We are now entering Japanese colonial art period. During this time, the development of art stopped because of the war and many of the arts were destroyed. Freedom of expression and speech were taken away from the Filipinos because the Japanese stopped the publication. In our final term, I have learned that art can be made in many different ways. After working with the history of Philippine art, I have found that behind every art, there is a history or story connected to it. Humans have always been creative. This can be proven by different arts, traditions, and rituals that have been found dating back to centuries ago. Every culture and every religion has their own arts which have to be respected by everyone. In our course, I realized that art isn't just about creating works of art. It is also about using one's imagination and emotions to create art. They convey their emotions through art. That is why certain artworks are difficult to comprehend at first glance. Every artist's work has a backstory. This course has broadened my appreciation and understanding of art. We must look after and conserve art for future generations. Our country is full of artworks, and each region and religion has its own style of art that reflects its culture. I hope that my podcast was educational and that you've gained more knowledge after listening to me.